right now they're chasing around a new toy that they have it's that yellow toy right there like literally the past half an hour they've been growling and chasing each other and fighting over it and we've been trying to get work done it's been really hard <laughs> as you can tell by the title of today's video did I say welcome back to Vlogs? we don't know hello as you can tell by the title we are not in the Bigfoot forest today. We were supposed to be, I know we told you guys we would, but our schedules have been insane and this Bigfoot forest is about a 45 minute drive from us. So it's just a long journey and we're gonna get there. We're gonna try and go there this weekend. So hopefully the next vlog, we will be there. I'm trying to film right now. So in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys the butterfly cry song. I'm so sorry, they're just gonna growl this whole time. You're it's just gonna have to deal with it. So Ty does not watch my main channel video, so he has no idea like what I talk about normally on there. So basically, if you haven't seen it, I posted it a few days ago, and it's about this girl who's father passed away? I can't remember now. Someone in her family passed away. She was sitting on the couch one day scrolling through Instagram and all of a sudden this song starts playing that she's never heard before and when she looks at the title it's called Butterfly Cry and the way she described it she said it was really hard to explain. She said it sounded like wind with wind chimes and a muffled screaming in the background. So ever since I like heard that creepypasta or it's supposed to be a true story scary if it was. I really wanted to hear what it would actually sound like for that to appear on your phone. So I went to Ty and I was like, listen, I can't find the actual song anywhere on the internet. Can you create it? So he went on the computer and he created the butterfly cry song. It's about 20 seconds long. So we're going to show it to you guys in just a little bit. First, I want to show you our recent horror movie list. You guys are going to hear this song in a bit that he created. It's the most terrifying sound. It's so creepy. I'm glad I did a good job. It's really, really creepy. So we're going to show you guys that in just a moment. But first, we are on a horror movie kick right now, and every single video until we're done our list, we're gonna tell you guys which horror movies we watched and what we rated them. It's a thing. It's a it's thing a indeed. Thing. It's a thing. It's That's a thing. the best way to describe it. So then we watched Pontypool. It's from 2008. This was probably one of the best, can I say, zombie movies? Is that gonna give it away? I don't know. Not really. That's the whole premise, but it's a very unique. It's such a unique zombie, movie. zombie film. And we can't even go into it without spoiling it because you have to watch it and find out for yourselves. It's like a mystery that when it's solved, you'll be shook. So and it's Canadian too. It's so a Canadian like film and it's crazy awesome. because we're from Ontario and there's not a lot of horror movies that take place in Ontario because if they film them here, they always pretend it's the States. Like they never say it's Ontario, so it was nice. Ty gave it a seven, I gave it a seven. We thought it was really good. Then we watched The Ruins from 2008. It's basically um, killer plants. I think it's based on a book actually. Ty gave it a four, I gave it a four. It was meh. It was okay. Then we watched Splice from 2009. We were not prepared. If you've seen this movie, you know what we're talking about. They um, are like smashing all of your equipment. We have a quick moment. <sighs> okay, so it's basically about this scientist couple that spliced together human and, and animal organisms. It's hey, let's put as much as we can together to make something. They're trying to create I mean, it's like an alien being. It's really weird. It, I wouldn't recommend it. Ty gave it a three, I gave it a four. Watch with caution. If you've seen it, you know what I mean. <laughs> then we watched The Box from 2009 with Cameron Diaz. Ty gave it a three, I gave it a three. Boring. I didn't like it. Then we watched Carriers with Chris Pine from 2009. This is, I thought it was a zombie movie when we put it on, but it ended up just being like a movie about a sickness going around. You don't want to get infected. It was very boring. Uh, Ty gave it a four, I don't know why. Wasn't that good? I gave it a one. Let me watch Predators, which wasn't really a horror movie, but it was on my list. <laughs> Ty gave it a four, I gave it a two. I was bored out of my mind. So boring. Yeah. 
He's trying to juke her out as best he can. It's dangerous in there. That's for sleeping only. And for cage matches. Then we watched Devil from 2010. I give it a two, I give it a four. They're all stuck in an elevator. One of them is the guy from down below. Then we watched The Reef from 2010. It's a shark movie. I love shark movies. I give it a two. I give it a three only because I feel like they could have done more with it, but it was definitely scary. It was scary. Maybe I should have given it a I higher. feel like that entire movie is just a normal Tuesday in Australia though. <laughs> Australia is dangerous. <laughs> Everything in Australia. <laughs> like spiders and sharks. Can like take you out. Yeah, we're from Canada, so we don't experience these things. So yeah, those were all the movies we watched. Not very good, the last few that we saw. The best one we saw was Pontypool. And I would highly recommend you watch that. We'll keep you guys posted on our horror movie watching. Anyways, we're gonna show you guys the Butterfly Cry song. We're just gonna insert the clip here. You might need to turn it up a little bit. I don't know, depending on how tight it's in. But um, enjoy. Here you go. Butterfly Cry song that Ty created. Let us know down below what you think. Do you think it's really creepy? If you got that on your phone, would you be terrified? Because I definitely would be. I feel um, like we should have added some of these growls in though. I feel like that would make it just that much creepier. You probably could have. Could. They make terrifying noises. Yes. But yeah, let us know if there's ever a creepypasta or story that I tell that doesn't exist in the real world. We can create it, B. We can create it. I feel like you're getting too much inspiration from that Splice movie. We can't create everything. There's a line, Jess. <laughs> We mustn't cross it. <laughs> if you want to download this on iTunes, I'm just kidding. Also, a new thing is that we just came out with new merch. It says my wings are hiding right now, and on the back there's wings, which is so cute. See, so, it would have been really funny if you had another version with chicken wings on it. No. Hiding my wings. It's fairy wings, Ty. Anyways, we'll link that down below, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. We'll see you in our next vlog. Bye! See you guys. Would you look at that? They're actually done now.